Okay, hello, and thanks for watching. So in this video, I'm going to do a, a really uh, easy, easy um, way to set up a simple lead capture page uh, using Leadsleep. All right, so I've had some people in the team who have uh, struggled, okay, and all they want to do simply is to go back to basics and just to understand and get familiar with the platform, okay, here at Leadsleep. Okay, maybe they've just joined or maybe they're just struggling in um, understanding how to set up an advanced lead capture page or even a funnel. But what I want to do here is just go completely back to basics. And in its simplest form, all you're going to do is just all, all I'm going to teach you to do today is to, on how to set up uh, a simple lead capture page. Even if you weren't going to use this page that we're going to create today, it's a good idea just to follow this tutorial so that you get simply get familiar on how to use the tool to, simp to, to set up a, a lead capture page of your choice. And then you can move on later on to, you know, setting up uh, other things like uh, more advanced funnels, using some of my share codes, do, you know, adding in a, uh, a, a bridge page or a thank you page. But if you don't understand what I was just talking about, don't worry about it. All I'm going to do is I'm going to sh simply show you how to set up a simple lead capture page, something like this. You know, all you've got is you've got a, a headline, okay, well, a sub headline and a main headline, okay, and, and then, you know, a headline for a call to action, okay, you've got the, the simple form here with a button. And the purpose of this page is um, to drive curiosity, you know. You could be advertising on a traffic exchange. You could be advertising on social media, or you could be sending something out to a whole bunch of people. Um, and you're simply trying to build your mailing list. So what they do is they come on this page, okay, and uh, they put their email address and their name. You, you know, it's all a drag and drop editor. You can move everything around freely it's, um, in the editor. And then when your leads uh, enter, the in, enter their information in the form, they click uh, this button and they get added to your emailing list. It's as simple as that. And we're going to show you how to set that up so that your leads, that when they get on this page and they fill in the form, they are going to be added to your emailing list. Okay. So when you're in the when you're in when you're in Leads Leap, okay, you start off, you know, for example, at the dashboard. Okay, you've just logged in, you find yourself on this page right here. And the only thing that you're going to really be doing when you're trying to set up a lead capture page is you're going to be using two things. You're going to be using the page manager, which is right down here. You see where my mouse is. Okay. Cause we're going to be setting up pages. We're also going to be using the list manager. Okay. Because we need to set up a list and you need to be able to collect, connect that list to your page. So when they, they opt in on the page, the leads will be added to an emailing list. Again, okay, that's your database. And, and what you do after that is if you're a pro member, you'll be able to send automated emails, uh, email series or an email sequence periodically, such as on a daily basis, automatically to the people that add their name and email address to this page. So we're going to teach you how to set up a page like this. And we do that within the page manager. And we're also going to teach you how, you know, when they enter their information here, we're going to teach you how to set up a, um, a an emailing list. So when they when they add their name and email address on the form here, they will be automatically added to a list. Now, if you're a free member, and, and you should be doing this anyway, even as a pro member, if you're a free member, you'll only have access to the broadcast feature. So then you'll need to use the broadcast and you should use this anyway, even as a pro member, obviously, because, you know, even though as a pro member, you can use the automated email follow up series you still need to be, you know, nurturing your list. This is how we, you know, we, we, you know, how we need to become kind of relentless in, uh, in supporting our leads. And when they opt out, that's a good thing in some ways, because, you know, they, they've, uh, they've alerted you that they're, they're not going to be partnering up with you. And so you can continue to do what you do and continue to, uh, build your leads list with, with, uh, people who are potentially going to partner up with you. So, you know, you, you, you're really looking for um, a list of people who are going to be active in the long run and you, you're going to be able to broadcast and, you know, not, not just rely on the automated or email responder, but also broadcast uh, so that, uh, you know, you can get people um, notified about your uh, offers, uh, your business opportunities, um, you know, and also giving out plenty of value and simply sharing out 
you know, how much you care about them and trying to get them connected with you on social media, you know, so that you can work with them or, you know, connected with you on, um, uh, you know, a Zoom call, you know, Zoom is also free and you can set up a Zoom call. Okay. And then you can have people come on, you know, like on a two way, two way call uh, with somebody who wants to chat with you on Zoom. Okay. Just giving out value. So anyway, this is just for real, you know, easy peasy, basic newbie friendly uh, tutorials. Okay. So, so, right. So in order to set up a page, something like this, here's what we do. Okay. So this is just an example. So I'm going to close this down. Okay. And then uh, what we do first, let's go to the page manager. Okay. And um, when you're on this page, uh, on this page manager, the first thing you do is you click the blue button right here. Just click it. Okay. We're not going to be, we're not going to be doing anything complicated. You just follow the on screen. Um, it, it all tells you what to do anyway here, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to name it. This is for your purpose, only for your reference. Okay. So call it something like, um, I don't know, call it, um, I don't know, live good. So, you know, your opportunity, whatever business opportunity or Maybe, you know, call it, you just, just do it something generic if you like. You could just call it gener something generic. Um, I don't know, value uh, list <laughs> one. And it's it's just your, nobody's going to see this name. Okay, it's just for your, it's just a label for you. So the page has not been created yet. Okay, even if you just click on any of these links, um, nothing happens because it's not it, the page hasn't been created it's just a campaign all right so now what you need to do is just continue following the on-screen instructions add a new design to start now you you've been given two choices now in some of my other videos i'm teaching you how to use a share code now, if you go that route you can watch those videos and it'll teach you how to set up a share code but today we're going to keep it really simple and use just the built-in uh, templates okay so you can add a blank page Okay, it's not actually technically a blank page that you're going to be adding is, you know, you're going to be able to choose some templates and notice you get this animation here. It's telling you what to do at each step of the way you launch the editor. And here you are, you're, you're presented with some uh, templates. So you can either use an opt in page. Okay, an opt in page is basically what we had before, which is a, a, a you know, a form. Okay, this is, you know, you can also call it a, a lead capture page. You know, some people call it a squeeze page. Um, you know, it, it doesn't matter what you call it. These are the this, these are basically the first page uh, designs that you'll use um, for the first page of a funnel. OK, it's what collects the lead. So let's pick a really simple page because, you know, I haven't got a whole lot of, uh, you know, content that I'm going to be, you know, sharing uh, or working with. But uh, let's pick a really simple page. I'm not even going to bother with the timer, the countdown timer here. I'm just going to delete that. This is really keep it simple. Okay. Um, and remember that, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to teach you how to write out simple headlines. You can, you know, it says attention. This is a time sensitive offer. Please act fast. If that's appropriate, then use it. All right. If it's not appropriate, then reword it. Just mouse over any element on the page and you'll automatically see the settings panel here. So you just put your mouse in here and you just edit any of the text. Okay. You can just, you know, type in anything you want and it updates automatically on the page. Okay. Um, same applies, you know, any area, any element that you put your mouse over and you select and highlight, it's going to allow you to come over here on the right hand side and edit that text. So, uh, you know, you know, that's it. Okay. Now the next thing, you know, obviously if you want to change the background image, you can go here, it says background, you just select that. And you know, if it, if, if there isn't a background thing available, you remember you can, it says background type and it might be on color in which case, you know, you can use just simply a color and you can change the color. If you're looking to put in a, an, an image or a video, you select this and then you can change the image. Um, and then you can select something that is already available. Okay. Pick, pick anything that you like. Okay. Um, and that's, and that's all you need to do. Uh, if you feel that the image is too bright, 
you can darken it, you can make the image darker, or you can make it, you know, lighter. And, and so it fades out. It's up to you, you can just play around with these settings. If you feel that you know, you, you don't want to, you know, you want to blur it out slightly to make any or you can do a little mixture of the two. It's up to you. Um, Anyway, so, you, you know, I'm not going to go through every setting, but, uh, you know, you can delete stuff. If you want to delete anything that's on the page, you can go, you know, select it as, 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 you know, any of the elements that you select, you have options over here. You can click the dustbin, okay, and you can delete stuff. Put your mouse over there. I mean, you know, if, if there's something on the page that you don't really agree with or don't really understand, or you might as well just delete it, you know. But if you want to add something, You've got these little options here. Just mouse over any of the options, and you'll and you'll be able to read what it is. So if you mouse over an image thing here, it says add an image. So it'll add the image element there, and then you can just choose um, an image. So you can go to misc, okay. And if you want to put in uh, like an arrow, that's you know you can do that. And if you want to uh, change the, the rotation, you can go down to the settings and you can change, you know, how it, you know, is rotated. So you can uh, change the element here. So notice what I'm doing on the right hand side here with my mouse. I'm just changing how, you know, how that looks. And then you can, you know, reform it, um, you know, reposition re um, it. All right. But actually, I'm just, you know, that's just an example. I mean, you can put anything in there. There's so, there's, there are so many um, optional uh, graphics that are already in the libraries. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to delete that, actually. I don't really think I want it particularly. The, the last thing you need to do, make sure is it actually says, it says important, next step, click, click it now. Choose a list from the list manager. Okay, but obviously, we haven't created any, any, any lists yet. So I'm just going to save this. Okay. So I've saved it. If you see what I, what I mean, I've saved it. Okay. Again, you've got other other options like you can preview the, the page or whatever. But you know, saving is important. Just I'm going to leave this uh, page open in the editor. So I'm going to go back to Page Manager on my other tab. Okay. So I'm back on Page Manager, but I've got the editor open in the other tab. I'm going to keep it open. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to List Manager. Okay. See where my mouse is. Okay. List Manager. Under Tools, I'm going to go there, and I'm going to create a new list. Why do we want a list? We want to be able to because we need to be able to collect the leads. This is the whole point. So call it whatever you want. My list one, for example, it's just for your internal purpose. Okay, and then notice the animation here. It's telling you what to do every step of the way. It's really really simple. And if you have any issues or dis uh, or misunderstandings, always just understand every page has a tutorial. You open that up and you can just check the tutorial there. If you want to sift something out, um, you know, like list or um, I don't know, um, how to oops, how to set up a list, how to set up a list, how to add a header to the email, how to add email signature or how to add a header to the email episode or whatever. Okay, so I mean, you know, also you can mouse over, you know, different elements. But uh, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to click the settings icon here. So we've already named the list for your purpose. Now what we do is, you know, optional, you can actually set up, uh, a, you know, put in some text, just don't worry about the image for the moment, that's just for a logo or a brand image or whatever. For this, we're going to just Put in, I don't know, um, Ed's um, free training. But you know, I'm, I'm just keeping it generic or whatever. But uh, you know, you can put your own name in there. If you're going to be providing training or value or whatever, it's up to you. Or Ed's free value, or um, um, you know, you can make a list about your company name. For example, Live Live Good. Um, team um, list or, you know, 
Ed's live good team. Whatever, it's up to you. Okay, and then you can skip that. And again, optional, you can put in a, a redirect verification, you know, but you don't need to. Just leave it blank. You know, you can see what it would look like. So when they opt in, it'll just say um, you need to go and verify your email address has been verified or whatever. You know, they've got to click the link in their email. So, you know, you, you've got to understand that when someone tries to join your mailing list, there's, there's one step they have to take before they can be added to your list. And that is to click an email to verify their email. It's, it's, a, it's a good system, in my opinion. Some people don't like it. I'm not happy with it. But you've got to understand it's how you get a, a very clean and active list. Uh, of active subscribers. Uh, and when they do that, they'll see that little pop up, which is good. Um, but if you do put um, a URL in there, um, you could put it to another page that you create, okay, that uh, will give them maybe more information about your offer. It's up to you what you put in there. Okay, you can create another page in the same way you created the, 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 the last page. Um, and then you need to put your own personal information. Okay, just put in your information. Okay, and uh, put your email address. This is very important. So put put your email address here, where it says your email address. Click this button here to to make sure that you verify this email. Okay, and then the email will come. I'm just gonna close that for the moment until the email comes. Make sure you put your address in here. Um, I'm going to put in the country. Um, let's just have a check. So here's my here's the email that came from Leadsly. Copy the code. Go back. Put the code in there. It gives you all the instructions here as well. Anyway, guys, so you know, pay attention. Um, that's the code. So just put that in there and leave it there for the moment. Okay. Um, I, I like to check all these because it. You know, you can always mouse over here to see what they mean. But when you check them, it means that the signature is automatically going to go out regardless of, you know, the emails, you know, whether the welcome email, you know, whether you want the signature to be added into the bottom of the welcome email that goes out. Because everyone is going to get a welcome email if they verify their, their um, uh, also the email series. If you're setting up an, uh, an email broadcast, uh, sorry, an email follow up series. It'll go out in, at the bottom of all those, the um, email signature. And if you're doing a broadcast, it's kind of what we mentioned before, it'll, the signature will go out with that as well. So for now, all you need to do is just click here and just type in your name. Because this will always be at the bottom of every email anyway. So that, then you don't need to worry about making sure that your name is in the email itself because you've already got it in the signature and you know that it's going to be going out with every single email. Um, and then you just put in some way of, you know, maybe some way that they can contact you. Just put your email address in. That's fine. Okay. You can make an email signature in, you know, in any way you want. Something a little bit more complicated. You can put an image of yourself, a graphic of yourself, or like a picture of yourself if you want to. It's up to you. If you're a pro member, you could upload it to your um to your gallery by clicking here, as you can template, uh, sorry, not template gallery, uh, image gallery, and click here. Um, and obviously, it's for pro members only, but you can add, you know, if you've uploaded a picture of yourself, you can add that in there. But I'm just going to keep it simple for the moment. And if you want to make it like a hyperlink, so when they click it, it actually does something, you can just either um, right click, so select it all, you can either right click, so you get a menu here, or you can actually click the button here on the toolbar. Okay, and then if you want to, you can put in mail to colon, and then just put your email address in. Make sure you type it incorrectly. So you've, you've got your normal email address, but just before that, you've got to put in mail to colon. Okay, you don't need to worry about anything here. And then that will become a hyperlink. And when they click it, it'll, it'll open up into an email application. And then and that's that's that you can make, you know, you can come back and edit that signature anytime you want, add more things in there or whatever, maybe even a link to your primary business or whatever. It's up to you. Then we need to check this. And then 
because we want to activate it. And then you just simply save and activate. So it says the list is now activated. If you get an error message, just read what the error message says and just follow the instructions. You know, error messages are there to help you, to guide you, you know, where you've gone wrong. So I'm just going to actually just refresh. So I'm just going to click the list manager again. We're on list manager already, but I just, you know, I'm just going to refresh the page by clicking that link again. Okay. And there's my list one. Okay. You can go back to see what you've just added and that's fine. And your list is active. And the next thing you need to do is to make sure that you go to here. Um, it says, you know, the welcome e email is skip, you know, is already automatically by default skip. Okay. Which means they're not going to get any message, but let's, let's, says let's say that you want to send a welcome email okay so you click here it says skip welcome email but we don't want to do that we want to add an email so you check this box and then you've you've been actually been given a template but you can reword this template just keep it simple you don't need to write long emails okay just uh, in fact i'm going to just delete the whole thing because i don't even need a signature um because I, I know that my signature is automatically going to go out with, with everything. It's just a, hi there, welcome to uh, my list. You know, you can say anything really great, grateful that you're on the list or, you know, here's the information that you're asking for. Here's the info you re requested. Okay. And then you put your link to, to the info you, that they requested. If you're trying to promote a, your, your business, um, you can go to LiveGood, log into LiveGood, and uh, you know maybe send them to the free tour page, okay, if you want to. But you know that you could send them to a uh, a page that you've already created within LeadSleep, or you could send them to a kind of training page, or you can send them to a whatever they requested to get onto your mailing list, whatever you're promoting, whatever you're offering, select it, go to the uh, link, and then just type the URL. Um, you don't need to worry about target because emails always open up into a new window anyway, but it's up to you. If you want to put in target new window, it's up to you. Okay, click there and it, it's gone blue. So that's fine. Um, um, I don't know, just, just end the email, say uh, thanks again um, to our success and you don't even need to put in your name okay it's, it, the signature is automatically going to be added to the bottom of the e of every email that goes out anyway there is an optional tag here if you want to use it but the only reason why you would want to use this tag is if you intend to put uh, something underneath the signature for example, like a PS or a PPS or whatever, or if or some kind of uh, footer to the email, like a brand or something like that, if you wanted to do that. But uh, that's so that you have more control over your signature and where it appears in, in your email. But you don't need to put that in there. Just mouse over if you don't understand, just read it and it'll, and it'll uh, you know, make sense to you. But uh, if you're not going to do anything at the bottom of the email and you just want to end it there, you know that you've, you, you're, you're going to have the signature going out into every email if you've, or if you've checked those boxes. Um, so that's fine. Okay. And then, um, go to that's, you know, just leave that blank and then save. Oops. Subject is empty. Uh, okay. Welcome to my list or oh. here's the info you requested. Okay. Now, obviously, if you at any point, if you wanted to make it more personal, you can always put in a first name. Okay. So if you wanted to add in their first name, um, it's like, for example, hi, and then their first name will be replaced with their first name. Okay. So it would be hi, Edward, hi, Dan, hi, John. Okay. And then again, hi there. And their name would be added in there automatically, just a little bit more personal. But obviously, bearing in mind that if your lead capture page doesn't have a, a first name field, so they haven't been able to add in their name in the lead capture page, then this won't mean anything. It'll probably just leave. I think there will be. It'll just be blank. Uh, but uh, bear that in mind. And then you can click save, and it'll allow you to preview what it looks like. Okay, this is the header. You can also use the mobile version. 
Okay, see what it looks like, and that seems to be fine. Close that. Okay, and you're done. Um, you don't need to change or edit the uh, verification email. I don't think you can anyway. Now, if you wanted to add in, um, if you're a pro member and you wanted to add in to more emails, like in an automated follow-up series, you just click this icon here, and then you can add new. Okay, and, and just for this demonstration, I'm going to put in uh, something that I've uh, created. Uh, where are we? So let's have a look. Okay, let's let's put this in there. Now I'm not going to give out scripts. I mean, you know, you know, I, I just I just write a lot of stuff um, that I think needs to be stated. You know, make sure that you have, you know, a lot of fresh content. But make it from yourself. Write it out what you think you know works for you. But then uh, you know, just just uh, you know, keep a lot of fresh stuff, um, and then just you know. You know, just just write it how, however you want, you know. Um, <clears throat> put the subject. So this is the, this is going to go out one day later after they opted in. Okay, I'm not going to bother with the first name. Let's just keep it like that. Okay, change it to I. I emailed you. Okay. I'm not going to I'm going to take out it, my name because it's already in the sig signature. Okay. Save and active activate. Uh, subjects in there, everything's in there. That's fine. Save. And it gives you a preview. Notice that I, I didn't put my name in there, but it adds it in there anyway, because as you know, you can see it as part of the signature. And then close that. So now we've got uh, an email that goes out immediately. But we've also got an email that goes out one day later. And if you want to add another email uh, one day later after that, you just simply add new and you can add another email. OK, so that's how you, you know, and then what you need to do is you need to go back. Now that we've um, created your first email list, all right, in your list manager. OK, so you've, you've created the list. Now what we need to do is we need to go back to the page manager. Okay, so now we're in Page Manager, and, and do you remember, this is the page that we created before. It's actually inactive, and you see this little animation here. It's actually trying to tell you every step of the way, It's gonna, and you need to activate it. But we haven't finished with this page. Okay, we're going to load it. We, we, we've actually load, we, we've, we've still got the page loaded in the editor. If you remember, this is the page we created earlier. But we haven't connected it to our list. We've just created a, an, e an email list. Now we need to connect it. So what you do is you go to choose a list from the list manager. You need to select here, use uh, Sensteed uh, Leads Leap List Manager. This is the built-in manager. Okay, now we can enter the list ID. But if you don't remember the list ID, that's okay. You just get it from this button here. This goes basically to list your all your emailing lists in, from the list manager. Okay, and this is the list we've just created, my list one. We add that in there. Okay, so we just if you want, you can go back to the list manager just to compare it. Okay, this is the ID. Okay, I'm just going to go back to the list manager. I'm going to open it up into a new window, actually. List manager, my list one, okay, 62523. That's the list ID. 62523, yep, that's correct. And then you can uh, close that. Okay, and then make sure you save it. Okay, and then you're done. So you go back to page manager, and here's your your list. I'm sorry, your page. This is your page. Okay, and you've activated it, and now you can open it up. And there's your your page. Now, if you go through the the you know obviously always test you know the page. Okay, go through it yourself. Put in your own email address in there. And put your name. You know, you obviously, you know, it's all a drag and drop editor. You can always, um, you know, you can you can change the order. You can put the name up the front, or you can put the email below. It's up to you. 
but I put, you know, I put my details in there and then I claim the free book or whatever. <laughs> and then it's going to send me to the next page. He said, one more step. And then obviously they all get an email and they need to verify. So we go to our email application. I've already been sent the verification. So one more step you need to, uh, to subscribe, you need to verify your email address. That's, this is what the lead is going to do. So they're going to verify their email address. They click it and then it, it, my email is verified. Okay, done. Okay, if they can also click here to view the email that was sent to them, okay, if they want to, but they're going to be sent the email anyway. Here's the, here's the email that they get sent. Um, and this is the one we just created. Hi there, Edward. Welcome to my list. Here's the info you requested. And then they click here. It goes to the free tour. Okay, here's my free tour website. Okay, thanks again to our success, Edward. And it's really simple. That's how you create a funnel. You don't necessarily need a second page that they redirect to. It's actually better in some ways to do it like this because you want them to verify their email address. You want them to... Uh, you know, get onto your emailing list. You, you want, that's what you're trying to do is you're trying to get an active team of leads that you're going to be um, sending uh, messages to. So, but if you wanted to, I mean, one thing you could do is you could, you could redirect them. You could, you know, you could put in a redirect URL to your live good page if you wanted to, but bearing in mind, if you're, if you intend to send a lot of um, hits to your website, you want to be careful. Okay. You could get your live good uh, page shut down okay but if you're you know if you, you know this this tutorial is not just for live good people it's it's for anyone you know if you're offering some kind of value or if you're promoting some other kind of business uh, and you want to send them directly to the uh, the page after they opt in you know that's that's one thing you can do and and the, the way you do that is that you you can go here to your list manager and then it says optional redirect url immediately after opting in you can put your you know for example your live good tour page. But if you do that, again, bear in mind that if you get a lot of hits to your page and you get a lot of uh, advertising, you could run the risk of getting your, paid, your, um, your page uh, suspended by LiveGood. So be careful. But uh, I don't think you have to worry if you're only going to be getting, um, you know, like 10 or 15, 20 um, pre-enrollees a day. That might be a bit, uh, a bit you know, a, a bit a, kind of a lot. But uh, you know, if you're getting sort of 10 pre-enrollees a day, you've got, I don't think you've got anything to worry about. But if you're getting a lot of pre-enrollees coming in every day, you could run the risk of uh, getting your, your page shut down. And the reason why that happens, it might sound strange, but the reason why it happens is, you know, if people are treating their business correctly and they're following up with their leads, they're having conversations with their leads, you know, they're, they're going to get some people to upgrade. You know, obviously LiveGood understand that uh, if you've got hundreds of people pre-enrolling it, but nobody's upgrading. That seems a bit strange. But if, you've, if you're getting a lot of pre-enrollees and you're getting, you know, a handful of upgrades, then that, that, that's doing, that's, that's amazing. That's incredible. Um, so, you know, uh, you know, if you're going to advertise your link, the best thing to do is to make sure that they get onto your emailing list before they do anything so that you can have them there and you can nurture them and support them um, and, and uh, you know, follow up with them. Okay. Also, the other thing you could do if you wanted to is uh, I'm going to save that. Go back to your list manager. Okay. So, so you're on the, in the back office, you're on the list manager here. This is where your email list manager is. Uh, you can just um, click the cog settings. And then down here, it says optional, show a link after verification. Again, what you can do after they verify their email address, you could put a um, you know, a redirect page, either your live good page or another page that you've created, like a thank you page or anything like that. And, um, or, or, or your corporate page or the page that you've got your value on or whatever, and then just save, go down and save it. Okay. So that's up to you. All right. But again, you don't have to put anything in there. It's up to you. So anyway, the purpose of this, uh, video was to really give you a very, very simple, um, way to set up a funnel for the first time. And now you can go on and do other things. You can set up more advanced funnels. You know, you can maybe go back to page manager, um, and create a redirect page, like a, a thank you page. Um, so again, you, you, you click add new page. Okay. 
and you call it what you want test two <laughs> um and you know if you if you're looking to create a thank you page or a redirect page you create it in the same way but when you add a new page you go back to add blank page if you haven't got a share code um launch the editor and now this time you don't necessarily need an opt-in page what you need is you need a thank you page you go to the second tab and you've got you know like thank you for opting in you can reword it and you can say you know put a link in there here's the information that you're looking for or here's and you know, click the button to access the, the the free tour or click here to join my business or whatever you know or download an ebook or um, or connect with me um, click here to connect with me on telegram or whatever so you know you can create a page in the same way you created the last page so that's how you do it guys you know i've got other tutorials that that uh, you've probably seen already that uh, take you at the next step which you know you could uh, use a share code um or you could um you know do other things or create your own page pages from scratch so um you know this was just designed to help complete newbies who are getting s stuck and struggling um, but it is a complete training and um you know sorry for the long video but you know i just wanted to to get this training out there so that people could really have something that uh, you know that, that, that would teach them every step of the way anyway thanks for watching guys and uh, see you on the next training bye for now